今までどうにか正義超人ごっこを演じてきたがとうとう悪魔の本性を表したというわけか。<笑><笑><笑><笑>もう少しで道を謝るところだった俺はもう悪魔じゃない赤い地上の流れる正義教人だ It's the superhero who stabs wrestlers with his horns and can even throw them like a boomerang the number one Hispanic character Buffalo Man Yep, like the previous American list, number one is another character from Kiniku Man, the best superhero wrestling series that needs to be licensed. When will that day happen? Each country of this world is represented by a Chojin, aka Superman wrestler, such as Terry Man from America, Robin Mask for England, Wars Man from Russia, Kiniku Man for Japan, etc. Some of you may know of Buffalo Man for watching Ultimate Muscle, the sequel of Kiniku Man. However, the English dub and the games made a mistake about this character. If you listen to his performance, Buffalo Man incorrectly speaks with a Russian accent. You know, Terry, your father and I consider each other good friends. But that means nothing. This is battle. And in battle, I never pull punches. His real homeland is the country of Spain, where he was a matador, which is a bullfighter. Ole! I have no idea why 4Kids Entertainment changed Buffalo's background, but at least it kept his name right. A long time ago in the 1980s, there were these toys called Muscle, which briefly were released in America by Mattel. And in that version, Buffalo Man's name was changed to. Terrible! <laughs> oh, that's terrible! <laughs> okay, so who is Buffalo Man? Well, before I get to that, you may have noticed a sudden shift to tone of this top 10 list. The recent characters have been pretty dark, and things will continue to get darker. I already talked about Buffalo Man in my list of favorite Kaneko Man characters, so I apologize, but、uh, I'm gonna recycle two minutes of footage. But don't worry, Kaneko Man fans, in this video, I promise to give you new material. Your children, Buffalo Man! Originally debuting as a villain, Buffalo Man acted as a leader to the Seven Devil Children and is responsible for nearly killing meat. Just go with me on this. Buffalo Man appeared to challenge Kaneko Man for his championship belt. So, Buffalo Man takes meat hostage by basically ramming into meat and breaking him into pieces. Don't question it. Still, Kaneko Man is now forced to fight each devil Chojin, and with each victory, he'll recover a piece of Meat's body and will bring him back to life. Don't question Kaneko Man logic, just don't. In this arc, Kaneko Man characters are revealed to have Chojin power levels, with Buffalo Man having a total of 10 million. During the final match, Buffalo Man reveals to Kaneko Man that he wasn't always powerful. In fact, his power level was originally 1 million, but he became stronger when he prayed to Satan. Yeah, that is a very accurate reaction. Buffalo Man would eventually become a hero, training the new generation of heroes at the Hercules factory, but it's pretty disturbing to find out that this guy used to be a Satan worshiper. What the fuck? After losing to Kanika Man and for good sportsmanship, Buffalo Man is offered to be part of the Muscle League, but before he can accept the offer, Buffalo Man is viewed as a traitor by the Devil Chojin. As punishment, Buffalo Man is temporarily killed by Satan and is later revived to serve Akuma Shogun. But suddenly, Buffalo Man redeems himself to the side of JUSTICE by opposing Akuma Shogun, leading to victory for the good guys. Since then, Buffalo Man has stayed a hero, but is constantly tempted by villains to return to his evil ways, even in filler material. Thankfully, this man has stayed a hero, serving as support for the Muscle League. Such examples include donating his horns to mend Kaneko Man's broken arm or joining forces with Kaneko Man's soldier. Buffalo Manly! Something about this man always gave this aura of grand power, and as a hero, Buffalo Man encourages rehabilitation, proving that devils can become just as Superman. At least, that's what I used to believe. And now, the new material. 
Originally, the Kinnikuman manga ended in 1987, but it kept coming back with new sequels, eventually leading to Kinnikuman 2011, which is still running in 2017. Thankfully, a dedicated fan has translated these new chapters. In that story, Buffalo Man becomes a villain again by returning to the devil Chojin. The series has been running for over 30 years, so why make this sudden change? Doesn't this betrayal destroy the concept of forgiveness, repentance, and manly friendship? I thought you were a hero, Buffalo Man! In this series, if you're not a hero, then you're a devil Superman, aka a Satan worshipper. All the villains in this series are by no exaggeration real devils even the silly ones. So is the number one spot who represents all Hispanic characters going to be a satanic villain? Or does Buffalo Man has the most Hispanic traits out of everybody? No, not exactly. My motive for placing Buffalo Man at the top comes from his grey morality. While he has switched sides, Buffalo Man hasn't done anything evil, and there's plenty of panels where he clearly shows concern for the good guys. But he also displays affection to his comrades, the Seven Devil Knights. As odd as it may sound, these villains developed a unified team, encouraging each other through battle and saluting their deaths. If you're familiar with the manga series Doro Hedoro, the devil Chojin behave in a similar fashion as the sorcerers of En's family. Despite performing evil acts, they do follow a code of honor, which creates a very unusual friendship, as seen with the top 5 characters in this list. Like Roberta, Buffalo Man began as a villainous man and became a hero who resisted temptation, but is there a secret reason why he swapped sides? As the story continues, other characters are even doubting his allegiance to evil. His emotions are very visible, so he definitely hasn't become a bloodthirsty killer. If anything, it's the opposite. With Buffalo Man being part of two teams, Justice and Devil, he now has more friends to worry about. Throughout the matches, he seems to be more passionate about victory, and even sadder upon loss. Currently, both Justice and Devil Chojin are working together to battle against the perfect Chojin, whose goal is to purge both heroes and villains. In his fight with the perfect Chojin, Psycho Man, Buffalo Man is forced into making a decision. Up to this point, Buffalo Man has experienced the deaths of many friends and is placed into a furious confrontation. His partner, Spring Man, was killed by Psycho Man, yet Buffalo Man hesitates to kill him. In this moment, Buffalo Man is struggling with his conscience, possibly being confused of being a hero or a villain, but then his wavering stops and he kills Psycho Man. Upon his evil deed, he tells Kiniko Man why he returned to being a devil, and these speech bubbles sums up everything about what makes this character a bit more complex. Listen, and listen real good, because I'm only gonna say this once. These guys are not reasonable. They will try to kill and destroy everything you hold dear. And it'll only be too late when you realize your kind heart's what invited your destruction. He says this as he carries the head of the deceased Spring Man and walks away into the darkness. Buffalo Man is willing to fight for justice, but is also capable of staining his heart with evil for the sake of protecting his remaining friends. This grey morality of an individual who bears compassion and malice may lead him to a path of self-destruction. What will become a Buffalo Man? I don't know, for the series is still ongoing, but as we've seen in previous Kinnika Man stories, even when he died, Buffalo Man used his own corpse to rescue his friends, and other times was corrupted by the spirit of Satan. So his fate can go either way, comedy or tragedy. Buffalo Man's inner struggle of good and evil is why I think he's number one. <laughs>